ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਪੀਐਸਐਲ ਬੁੱਕ 1B ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਲੈਸਨ ਨੰਬਰ 3 ਯੂ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਥੀਸ ਲੈਟਰਸ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਯੂ ਡੂ ਲੈਟਸ ਸੇ ਥੈਮ ਵਨ ਮੋਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਸੋ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਨੈਵਰ ਫਰਗੈਟ ਥੈਮ ਊੜਾ ਐੜਾ ਈਡੀ ਸਸਾ ਹਾਹਾ ਕਕਾ ਖਕਾ ਗਗਾ ਕਗਾ ਨੰਗਾ ਚਚਾ ਚਚਾ ਜੱਜਾ ਚਜਾ ਨਿਆਂ ਟੈਂਕਾ ਠਠਾ ਡੱਡਾ ਟੱਡਾ ਰਣਾਣਾ ਤੱਤਾ ਠਥਾ ਦੱਦਾ ਤੱਦਾ ਨੰਨਾ ਪੱਪਾ ਫੱਫਾ ਬੱਬ ਪੱਬਾ ਮੰਮਾ ਯਈਆ ਰਾਰਾ ਲੱਲਾ ਵੱਵਾ ੜਾੜਾ ਸ਼ਸ਼ਾ ਖਖਾ ਗਗਾ ਜ਼ਜ਼ਾ ਫਫਾ ਲੱਲਾ ਓਕੇ ਨਾ ਥਿਸ ਵਨ ਮੇਕਸ ਅ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਡਜ਼ਨਟ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਨੇਮ ਆਫ ਇਟਸ ਓਨ so today we are going to learn to make and read and write mukta words okay let me tell you all about mukta words <coughs> every language has sounds that join together to make words right we use words to say what we want what we like what we hate what makes us happy or what makes us scared every language has symbols also we call these symbols letters these letters join together to make parts of words syllables that join to make words and we join the words to make sentences right lots of things to think about english language has 26 letters you know your abc's right they're 26 and all the sounds can be made using only those letters Five of these letters are called vowels, A-E-I-O-U, remember? In English, you cannot write a word without using a vowel, not even one word. But it is different in Punjabi. There are 41 letters in Punjabi. We just read the 41 letters on the previous page. And in addition, there are nine vowel symbols, which you will learn in a few weeks. Many words in Punjabi language can be created using the sounds of the letters only. We do not need to use any vowels or a matra symbol. These words are called mukta words or free of vowel. All the mukta words have the sound a uh, made by the u in English and era in Punjabi. Look at this example. The words have only two or more letters without any vowel. We will show the a uh sound by writing ada only to see the sound in the word. In real words, we do not use ada in the mukta words. I'm just writing here so you know that this sound exists. So this word is r, har, har. but what what are the sounds you hear you hear uh r har har means every har also means god okay later on you will trace these words k m l k m l k m l k m l k m l k m l is lotus k m l is also somebody's name okay Now let's make some other words. We will use these penti akri letters in this lesson. Let's see the name and sound of each letter. Gaga, g. Kaga, k. Now kaga makes two sounds actually. If it comes in the beginning of a word, it makes a sound k, and if it comes at the end of a word, it makes a sound g. Jaja. j tata t tata t dada d tada t t tada makes two sounds if it comes in the beginning of a word it makes a sound t if it comes at the end it makes a sound d 
So these are the letters we are using in this lesson. Okay, now this word is ta r ta ar tar tar is a cucumber, Indian cucumber, long one. Kar ka ar kar is a house. Dar da ar dar. Remember, in words we don't write these ada, but we speak. Dar that is a door. Par, pa, ar, par. Par can mean but, or par can also mean wings. Tan, t, an, tan. Tan is a weight, like pound, like ounce, this tan. Tan, tan is body. Tan, tan means money, wealth. Path, path is path. Hey, it sounds like, like path, right? Path. Path is the same as path. Gaj. Gaj is a yardstick. It has three feet in it. Okay. So let's see what these words look like. All right. So here they are. Let's read them. Now you can see the picture. Kar. Tar. Dar. Tan. 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 Par. Path. Gaj. Okay. Now, these are the activities you will do. I'm just going to show them and then you will do them yourself. It says read the words, copy them online. So practice reading and then copy them. Okay. All of the nine words. Next page. You will write the missing letters to complete the words on the red dotted line. So here's a line. This word is supposed to be kar. So you're missing the kaga. This is Tar, you're missing the ta, ta This is dar, you're missing the da, da Okay, so if you don't remember what these words are, what can you do? You can go to this page and you can look at them and you can copy them. Okay, but I think you will remember. Now on this page, you have to write the whole word by yourself. And this is your homework. Do it nicely. You can write it even two times. I think that'll be very helpful. Then another homework is you have to read these words. You know, some of the words are new in there. Some of the words are from the lesson. And you're going to sort these out. Read these categories. So the directions are read the words, sort them in categories. Read these Punjabi words. Separate them into different groups. Look at how they start and how they end. And they tell you over here what letter they should end with, what letters they have in them, or if they don't fit here, 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 you write them over here. Then the next activity you're going to do is you're going to find all of those words that you learned that go with these pictures and you find them and write them here. For example, this one is house. House is a car. Here is car. Car, right? So let me see if I can annotate for you. Car. So you will find car and you will write here. Car nicely. Good job. Okay, then this one is tar, and I see tar right here. Tar, and you will write tar over here. Okay, so this is how you're going to do your homework, and then we are done with this lesson. I think let me check the next page. This is a quiz. So you are going to do this quiz by yourself at home. Okay. And we will see how you did. This is, what are these wings? It's called par, right? So where is par? Par, kar, par. Right here. This is the one. So these are the, all the words, only eight words. And you're going to um, do the quiz. And then when you come next week in class, your teacher is going to give you spelling words from all these words. Okay. And then you will write, if you miss any word, then you have to write each word three times. If you miss them. If you don't miss any words, you have perfect spelling, then you will not need to do any of that work. Okay. So let's erase these. 
and this is going to complete uh, clean up our lesson and we are done with this lesson yay okay so thank you for working with me on mukta words lesson three and we are done and we will see you next week and we will learn nine or ten new like new words okay and that's how you improve your punjabi thank you so much vaheguru ji ka khalsa vaheguru ji ki fateh